This exhibition, The Tropics Views from the Middle of the Globe, was brought to Ezeco Museums of Cape Town in partnership with the Goethe Institute, the Staatliche Museum zu Berlin, and the Cultural Federation of Germany. And it's an exhibition that is exciting because it has got so many different trains of thoughts in, around the central concept of the tropics. That's partly because there are three curators involved, Alphonse Huch, Peter Junge, and Viola König. Cultural heritage, cultural knowledge, cultural encounter, cultural experience will build up a mutual responsibility and the equality of all cultures is the fundament of all these ideas. And these aspects were the main motivation for the Goethe Institute to initiate this exhibition and to start this collaboration. The idea is to look at this concept of the tropics, which is both a geographical zone, a belt around the earth, but more importantly, is also an imagination. It's a dream, a myth. And if you look at cultural production throughout the uh, ages, often you see that there is this notion of the tropics as other, as different. So this exhibition looks at this whole kind of mythology, um, but also looks at it as a geographical zone. It's a combination of, and hence it kind of questions and problematizes this whole idea of what the tropics is about. My name is Theo Eschetu, I'm a video artist and um, I got involved by Alphonse Hoog in this exhibition. He's the director of the Goethe Institute in Rio. I was kind of very interested in, uh, in participating in a show that sort of values the, 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 the tropics or the or the other. So Tropicalia was a kind of an artistic philosophical movement in the 60s where musicians, poets and thinkers uh, sort of hypothesized a lifestyle that was based on music, art and good weather and um, in contrast to art that's made with bad weather and, uh, and a kind of a lifestyle that's um, anchored on economic considerations or other considerations. What we have here is a kenta cloth, which was made by the Ashanti people of Ghana and by the males in that society. The colors and also the patterns are indicative of status. Um, and even now, these cloths are worn and are made, but they are um, still seen as a status symbol, even if they are worn more in the everyday. This is also echoed in the work which is um, juxtaposed with this, this um, bridal dress made by Daspu, which is a prostitute's cooperative in Rio de Janeiro. And you know, we think of prostitution, of they are seen as a subset of society, of having less status. Whereas here, they show a pride, they celebrate their status as prostitutes, such as the um, Kenta cloth does, to show textiles as a symbol of status and of pride in one's own identity. I like the concept uh, of uh, presenting pre-modern works and contemporary art together as art. Uh, I'm very much a fan of the so-called Wunderkammer, so, uh, which brings uh, artifacts and things and artworks together that may on the first glance have nothing to do with each other, but then create a special atmosphere, uh, crea create a special sense for its own. Right, here we're looking at a figure, at a spirit of the hand figure, and um, it's formerly a beautiful figure, but over and above that, it speaks about a particular approach to nature. Um, it's about the hunt, going out into nature and controlling nature in order to make the hunt successful. 
So humans looking at nature and trying to control it in order to have a most beneficial life, a most beneficial hunt. And that's interesting how that is juxtaposed with the photographs behind us here. So the animal here is constrained and is um, placed in an environment that's human made and it um, almost becomes non-nature. Just as in the um, spirit of the hunt figure, we've got a, a nature that is controlled by humans in, for their own purpose, for their own good. Um, I think the value of art is, certainly is to say some kind of truth about the way things are, about the way we perceive things, about uh, the relationship between images and reality. And if art can somehow bring us closer to what is real, I think that it's doing something that's quite important. We all know our empire's